Hey everyone, this is me Supreme from Space Media Foundation and in this video, we're going to build a 50mm refractor telescope in which we can see the craters in the moon, some of the biggest planets in our solar system and a lot of stars. Without further ado, let's jump into this video. Our ancestors lived in the golden age where there is no light pollution so they can make so many observations to the naked eye. But for thousands of years, they just made observations in their eyes. In 1608, the Dutch eyeglass maker Hans Lippershey invented the first telescope. A year later, the Italian mathematician and scientist Galileo Galilei made some changes to the old telescope and constructed his new one and pointed it towards the sky becoming the first person to observe the sky with the help of his telescope. Even if you can observe the night sky with your naked eye and can spot the five planets in the solar system, they only look like a point of light to your eyes. And that's why we use an instrument called telescope which collects and magnifies light from a distant object. Keep these basic terms in mind so that they can help you to understand better about the telescopes. Also, they will help you to choose the best telescopes that is suitable for you whether you buy it or you build it. The first one is the aperture. The aperture is just the diameter of the primary lens or the mirror that you use in the telescope. It is basically measured in millimeters in the refractive telescope and inches in the reflective telescope. Larger the aperture of the primary lens or the mirror, the brighter the object will look like and the deeper you can take into the universe. Magnification means the number of times the object looks bigger in the telescope than the actual viewing. For example, let's take the telescope that we are going to build. This telescope with 50mm primary lens and the 25mm eyepiece, we will get 28x magnification which means the object will appear 28 times bigger in the telescope than that of the view in your naked eye. The magnification of any telescope can be calculated by the formula magnification equals focal length of the primary lens of the mirror by focal length of the eyepiece. Here it is magnification equals 700mm by 25mm which gives 28 which directs us to the focal length. The focal length is just the distance between the lens or the mirror and the point where all the light rays converge. Focal ratio. It is the ratio of the focal length and the aperture of the lens or a mirror. It is calculated as focal ratio equals focal length of the lens or a mirror by aperture. For this telescope, the focal ratio will be 700 by 50 equals 14. More the focal ratio, more will be the focal length and narrower will be the field of view. Now, let's start to build the telescope. Let's see the materials that are required to build this telescope. The first one is an achromatic 50mm lens with a focal length of 700mm and a 25mm eyepiece which you will easily get in Amazon. You may ask, why achromatic? What is it? Well, you can build a telescope with a normal lens but you will see chromatic appreciation which is when light passes through the lens it is broken up into various colors as a glass bends various wavelengths differently and this achromatic lens prevents this and gives a better viewing experience now you need a 75 into 50 mm pvc reducer 50 into 40 mm pvc reducer 40 into 32 mm pvc reducer and a 50 mm t joint then you need a 50 mm pvc pipe 40 mm pvc pipe and a 1.25 inch small PVC pipe. Now take the 50 mm PVC pipe and cut it with a length of 48 cm. Then take the 40 mm PVC pipe and cut it into two pieces, one with a length of 25 cm and the other with a length of 5 cm. Now take the 1.25 inch PVC pipe and then cut it with a length of 7 cm. In the 1.25 inch pipe, now insert the 25 mm eyepiece. In case the eyepiece doesn't go inside really well, just shave some layers of the PVC pipe, then insert it. Take the 75 into 50 mm PVC reducer and now insert the 50 mm achromatic lens. Clean it with a soft cloth and put it inside the 75 into 50 mm PVC reducer.
Now insert the 50 mm PVC pipe to the reducer but here be very careful at inserting it because if you put more pressure on it you will end up breaking the lens. Then tape the reducer with the PVC pipe. Now take the 15 to 40 mm PVC reducer and insert it with the 50 mm PVC pipe and then tape it. Why we are taping everything because in case if you want to clean the lens or want to replace any part of the telescope you can just take the tape off and replace it and again tape it. Now take the T-joint and cut it with an angle of 45 degrees. In this place you can add a plane mirror but I will recommend to use a mirror finished aluminum plate or a highly reflective foil or a mirror sticker because mirrors have multiple layers and when light reflects from it you will get multiple reflections about 3 to 4 reflections and the middle one being the brightest and tape the reflective plane to the T-joint. Now add this T-joint to the 40mm PVC pipe. Then add the 5cm 40mm pipe to the top of the T-joint and insert it to the reducer. Now add the 14 to 32mm reducer to the 40mm pipe and insert the 1.25 inch pipe fitted with the eyepiece. These 40mm PVC pipe and the 1.25 inch pipe act as a focusing mechanism. You can build your own tripod with PVC pipes or metal rods as I built here for better viewing experience because you don't want to hold this heavy telescope for a long time of stored casing. Now you have successfully built your telescope and I hope you enjoy the process of building it. This is me Sir Payne signing up and thank you for watching this video.